All right, welcome back to The Movement Doctor. So we're gonna talk about the best exercises to do after a lateral ankle sprain that we talked about in our video, Google versus The Movement Doctor, um, on how to treat it after an acute sprain. So remember, the, the concept is meet, movement, exercise, natural analgesics, and treatment. So you don't wanna rest it, you don't wanna just lay there waiting for the swelling to go down because one of the biggest things that's gonna happen is you're gonna have stiffness in this top joint here, the talocrural joint. And so we wanna get that moving, we wanna get the calf working again. Everything is gonna be as tolerated, you're gonna feel a little discomfort, but with these exercises that we're gonna show you, you're not gonna damage any of the lateral structure ligaments that may have been sprained. So the first exercise is just single leg balance. So you're wanting to be able to put pressure on that leg Get the other leg to go 90-90 up in the air, straight up front, 90-90, yep. So you, by going 90-90 here, we automatically turn on our abdominals. So here now you, you can see all these muscles turning on, just working on single leg balance, which is super important. Another exercise here is now going into heel raises. So you're gonna lift up the heel, See how it feels tolerating first with double leg, really push off the big toe and make sure that you feel comfortable with that. Again, you're, you're not damaging anything on this lateral side, but you're gonna feel a little discomfort there because you're actually moving the swelling around. If you feel comfortable with two legs and you feel like it's something you can tolerate single leg, then you hold that on the opposite arm of the injured side and you're gonna go up and down on the single leg that's injured. And again, we're not damaging anything here. You're just gonna feel a little bit of discomfort, but that's okay. If you're feeling like you can't even lift up and you can't even raise, then that's a sign that you should probably hold off on these exercises. So another way we really wanna target this guy is by doing a lunge with the injured side as the front leg. So you can see here, you wanna really focus in on what's happening to this talocrural joint. And the idea is to, to not only just work on your quad and hamstrings like this, but then to also drive your knee as far forward as you can, making sure the heel stays down. So really kind of driving that talocrural joint forward. This is where you're gonna feel a little bit most of the discomfort because a lot of swelling drifts into that joint, which is closest to the area where the ankle sprain is. So by kind of moving a lot of that swelling around, you're getting a lot of benefit from this exercise if you can tolerate it. And you can vary it, it doesn't have to be all the way, so you go halfway on that. So we can go halfway just to kind of get some movement in there, but you gotta definitely start getting some movement in there. And then you could switch positions where now this injured leg is in the back to get a good stretch throughout the whole anterior posterior structures. Again, as tolerated is gonna to be super important. So another way we can also change the angle in more of a transverse plane is adding rotation through our whole tibia, femur, and pelvis. So what she's gonna do here is rotate around, making sure the heel stays down and back and forth to the other side. So she's getting enough rotation in this area. So that essentially what's happening is the tibia is now rotating along this. Again, might feel a little discomfort, but it's a good way to kind of loosen up a lot of the structures down in here. So you're adding rotation through upper body, down to the femur, down to the tibia, with your ankle still fixed to the ground, and you're adding some rotational stuff there as well. So another important exercise here is to add in some type of slant board where you can get a stretch from the, the back of the structures here with the knee straight, or now with the knee bent, also adding in more stretch through the talocrural joint and a different angle you'll get with the knee bent in the back structures near the Achilles. This one, this one especially after an acute ankle sprain, you know, a couple days after, you're gonna feel a lot of discomfort on this lateral side here so again, all you're doing is stretching here, you're stretching some of the structures there, but you're not damaging anything and you're not overstretching it to the point where it's, uh, it's harmful. We're just trying to get a lot of that movement as part of the meat program that we talked about 
to kind of really get going here. And so now taking that slant board going the other way, you're working on really kind of getting some forced flexion here, eccentric training of the quadriceps, the anterior shin muscles, all the way down into that talocrural joint again. So the focus really is to have less discomfort in this talocrural joint that'll be very beneficial after an ankle sprain. We've seen many here in the office and a lot of them we do all, all this stuff for and the recovery time is a lot greater than if someone was just in a boot on crutches waiting for it. As long as there's no fracture and you know the severity of that ankle sprain, all this stuff is definitely okay to do. But definitely talk to your doctor or your physical therapist to make sure because everyone's injury is different. But you know, for, for what we've seen, again, not maybe not going as full range as she's going, maybe going a little more partial and then slowly increasing that range little by little as you feel improvement is coming along.